Hello and welcome, my Aries Collective Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, and Cross Watchers. Welcome to your timeless five card draw spell kit reading. I am your reader, Mark Angela Lyons, Mal for short. They're my initials. I'm not bad. It's just spelled like that. Hey, it's what my parents named me. I am a professional witch, a professional intuitive, and the president of Drawing the Circle Productions Incorporated since 1998. Author of two different books with a third one in progress at the time of this timeless recording. The first one is called Spell Ingredients from a Professional Witch. The second one is called Words of Grace from a Professional Witch. And there is a Kindle version available of Words of Grace. And I mention it because if you click the link in the description box, you can preview it for free, which is lovely. Uh, and I love that book. It's a book of, of magic and miracles and mysticism organized in chakra chapters. Maybe you'd like it. Go click it out. Go click it out. Go check it out and click it. There, I made a new word creativity uh, but the original version of Words of Grace which seriously is a Fellini film fest compared to the Kindle version because we had to tone it down quite a bit as well as the only place to find um my first book, Spell Ingredients, is over on Patreon.com in our digital shop. We've got ebooks, we've got audios, we've got videos, and the audios and videos have free previews now, so you can listen to about two minutes of them and purchase them if you like. You don't even need to be a subscriber to shop in my store. Uh, but those ebooks, those audios, and those videos, some of my uh, patrons, my subscribers, get those as part of their benefit package. God Goddess Top Tier gets everything on the platform, but the majority of my subscribers over on Patreon.com slash Drawing the Circle get three benefits in common, a daily check-in. I send them an unlisted YouTube live stream like pretty much every single morning. Did it this morning, knocked it out of the park. Uh, we chat about the day's astrological weather, the magical applications, the spiritual implications, always ending with a spiritual practice of some kind to send us on our way, and it's the best way for me to start the day, considering what I do for a living. They also get Get all the extended readings, the part twos to the part ones here on YouTube. All of my extended readings are timeless and relationship stuff based. Let's just call it relationship stuff because it's a lot. As well as they get a significant discount when they book me for a private session, spiritual counseling and or readings. Uh, we'll talk about that at the end of the video if you would like more info on that. And you can follow us for free, putting out content specifically for our free followers, but the subscribers get to see it too. But a lot of that stuff is advanced content that I share with the world eventually, but a lot of it is exclusive just to the free followers and subscribers, as well as you can now uh, do a seven-day free trial as a seeker or a human, our first two levels uh, of uh, subscription. And you can jump out the last day if you want. I get it become a free follower after that if you like. Uh, but certainly, if you want to get the discount uh, for private sessions, you got to stay for at least a month and book it within that month, because that's only fair. And I love it. Click the link, check it out, and come Patreon on Patreon, because I'm the Archangel of Lions, Mark Angel of Lions. <laughs> Just call me Mal. Hey, let's get, get down to business. This is one of my favorite series to do, the five-card uh, draw uh, spell kit readings. They used to be the new mood, the beautiful, nudiful uh, uh, reads. There's a huge playlist full of them, so maybe they're all timeless. I don't know. But let's do some explanation for the new Aries and Cross Watchers, and we'll jump into the divination. Feel free to jump ahead if you like. Welcome, new Aries and Cross Watchers. A five-card draw is just one card from five different decks, getting you clues, tips, and hints about anything in particular. But in this case, it's a spell kit reading. Now, if you don't think of them as spells, you can call it your law of attraction, your manifestational process, your creative process, whatever you want to call it because these uh, decks represent in this uh, uh, reading series the five magical elements. Let's go through it quickly. We're going to start with the element of fire, your, ele your elephant, I almost said your element, with the magical spell cards by Lucy Cavendish. There are little spell fragments in here that you can certainly build upon to manifest your heart's desire by water, by earth, by air, by fire, starting with spirit. No bookie book for that one, but there's a bookie book for the element of earth with the crystal 
uh, oracle. Uh, if you have the stone indicated, wonderful. Use it as a spell ingredient if you like, but really anything physical will do. It's good to have a physical reminder. All of my jewelry has spells in them, uh, including my sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs uh, for these reads. Of course I apply them. So lovely, lovely, lovely deck. Uh, the Crystal Oracle by Tony Carmine Salerno for the element of air. We are using the Archangel Fire Oracle because angels and wings and all of that. This deck is magnificent. The book is dense with info. Really, really good. Alexandra, Wen, uh, Alexandra Wenman, Findhorn Press. So the Archangel, we'll talk about that when we get there. For the element of water, we will be doing the Whispers of Love Oracle by Angela Hartfield. I love this deck. Uh, consecrated to the higher selves of all involved, so not just the Aries and the Cross Watchers, but anybody else who may be involved in the situation. And we will end with a Matt Kahn healing mantra. So here's the tea. You get a, you know, the stone, the crystal, whatever. You put the spell in it. You call in the Archangel. You pay attention to the whisper of love from your own higher self and the higher self collective, and then you you add a mantra to it so you can add to it a little bit every day, every day, every day. Because in my experience, our heart's desires are things that were assigned to us before we came in. And I don't just think to one particular life. I think some of them we've been working on lifetime after lifetime after lifetime because they are part of a much larger plan, the ineffable divine plan. I call it the plan for permanently peaceful people populated paradise planet Earth because I'm highly illiterate. Alliterative. Though kind of tripping over my tongue, which means slow the F down, Mal, and I will. Um, so yeah, you don't have to call it a spell. You can call it whatever you like, your visualization process. Uh, but this gives you some clues, some tips, and, and some hints to manifest your heart's desire by water, by earth, by air by fire for the spirit of unity because as one of us manifests uh, a heart's desire all of our higher uh, uh, heart's desires become available for manifestation as well because that's how unity works all right enough explanation let's get into the divination I, I don't mind doing it because you don't want to drop people down into a, a spell kit read without them knowing what i'm talking about so both feet on the floor if you can focus on your breath if you will I promise you I will do anything I can to help anyone manifest their heart's desire by water, by earth, by air, by fire, in the spirit of unity, because as one of us do it, we all move forward, and that's the gig. So the shift from that explanation to divination happens in the still point. Let's go there. Please take a nice deep breath. Here we go. Ancestral override. Place for everything and everything in its place. Put all where it belongs in time and space for the well being of all and with harm to none. As we will it, so let it be done. Beloved ancestors of magic, miracles, and mysticism, one card in clarity, please. For the Aries Collective, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, and their cross watchers watching this video and drawn to this reading, what is the spell fragment, the clue, the tip, the hint to help them manifest their heart's desire by water, by earth, by air, by fire for this timeless read? Ooh. Divine Guidance right out of the gate. First reading of the series. Love it. Whispers from the beings who shine. Let their message be clear and kind. Good. Good, 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 good. So, a very general divine guidance about anything. It's not a bad thing to, to cast for, to, to intend, because if you don't know what to do, you can ask other people for guidance if that's what you are guided to do. Because we're all divine at our core. I know it doesn't look that way, but that is the truth. So, it's whispers, right? It's not like, hey, Aries, cross watcher, do this, right? That it might take some stillness, uh, some silence to allow that in to get a clear and kind message. Liking it a lot. All right, let's ground it with the Crystal Oracle, Element of Earth, dedicated to my beloved Archangel Ariel, the Archangel of Lions, and with my name. Can't really avoid that. Please take a nice deep breath. Took me forever to learn that, too. Still point. Ariel Override. Hmm. A place 
for everything and everything in its place. Put all where it belongs in time and space for the well-being of all with harm to none. As we will it, so let it be done. My beloved Archangel Ariel, one card in clarity, please. For the element of Earth, uh, the, to uh, fuel the fire, to help them ground and manifest their heart's desire that either is or does require divine guidance for this timeless read. <gasps> Ooh, Moonstone! Yay! I got me some Moonstone. I'm really a Selenite kind of guy, but I started off with Moonstone. You know, you don't start with Selenite day one, right? It would be a bit much. But I do love Moonstone, and this is definitely uh, feminine energy, internal, internal goddess energy, however you want to do that uh, in your own uh, chakric language or otherwise. So there are some key words. Fertility, yes, can be li literal pregnancy, but can also mean creative fertility, reflection. Intuition, hence the divine guidance. Imagination, goddess energy, and amplified feelings. Okay, so we'll really pay attention to the element of water. During the appearance of the next full moon, which is, uh, we just passed it at the time of this timeless recording, so you got a while for this one. Uh, during the appearance of the next full moon, your emotions and fears will be amplified, and you will at times think you are going crazy. You say, oh, that's fun to start off with. Well, the divine guidance. Sometimes the divine tells you what you need to know more than what you want to know. It could be a little maddening. However, keep your calm, for this condition will only last a few days. During this time, you will find yourself reflecting on your life, both past and present. You will gain deep insights as to the nature of true happiness and begin to reassess your priorities. Now, true happiness is not object dependent. That is the core of the soul uh, revealing itself. That's lovely. After the full moon, a fertile period in your life begins. Makes sense. Uh, full of many exciting challenges and changes, many new and rewarding things will be formed as you embark on new and creative adventures. Now, I will say, cardinal five fire, Aries, means creative fire. So there is creativity here for you. Uh, this is all the result of the reflective light of the moon. So give thanks to her for her wisdom. Embrace the blessings coming your way. So guidance in itself is a blessing, right? Divine guidance, one would think. But to surrender your will to divine guidance, it can be very terrifying, right? It's like the fool card, the leap of faith. I'm there's no tarot in this particular spread, but we do have archangels. Now, here's my take on archangels. Everybody's got archangelic lineage because the higher self has been called the guardian angel, right? So the guardian angels team up and become archangels. The archangels then gang up together and become the thrones, the powers, the dominions, the virtues, all the way back to source. So, um... This book is wonderful. It is a booky book read, but I'm only going to read a little bit of it because it is very info-dense, and I highly recommend it. Element of air. What you thinking? Please take a nice deep breath. And archangels only come when you call divine guidance. Please take a nice deep breath one more time. Okay, a few more times. Still point. Archangelic override. A place for everything and everything in its place. Put all where it belongs in time and space. For the well-being of all and with harm to none as we will it. So let it be done. Beloved Archangelic Pantheons, one card in clarity, a clue, a tip, a hint. For the element of air, for the Aries Collective, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Signs, and their cross-watchers who are watching this video and drawn to this reading, the element of air to help them stoke that fire, to manifest their heart's desire, which either is or does require divine guidance with that moonstone vibe uh, for this timeless read. Oh, this is like the She-Ra Archangel uh, Gal Galiel. A little hard to say, but you can see, come on, come on. She has the power. Card number 16. I forget exactly what the keyword. They don't write the keyword on the card, which I love. Um, power. 
<laughs> power, there's your key word. Uh, what an angel to call on at the start of this incredible new era of change. Uh, like the fierce Norse Valkyrie, there we go, a warrioress in her card, powerful Galgaliel's duty is to help us raise our personal vibration, and this is particularly useful as we collectively raise the frequency of the planet. See, that's the thing. We manifest our heart's desires. Our, yes, we get the personal part of it, but then the collective comes along to it. What you're doing is shift into a more golden timeline rather than lead. Alchemy reads, I do those two. So, the message. Your power comes from God, goddess, you do you, and uh, is the essence of love. Do not be afraid to use your power for good. Claim back your sovereignty and give yourself permission to follow your inner guidance, which is going on in that moonstone. Take control of the steering wheel of your life. Choose your direction. Choose your own adventure. Turn to page whatever. Gal Galiel, she has the power of a Valkyrie. You really don't want to screw with them. So, let's get the element of water, as we saw with that moonstone there. This one seems to be highlighted, particularly with the intuitive aspect uh, to get that divine guidance and to embrace your power for good. Because really, the choice every moment is hero or villain. Choose, shall we? Please take a nice deep breath. Ah, stop. Hire yourselves override. Party. A place for everything and everything in its place. Put all where it belongs in time and space. For the well being of all and with harm to none. As we will it, so let it be done. Beloved, higher selves of all involved, fifth dimension and above, eighth chakra and above. What is the whisper of love, the clue, the tip, the hint to assist uh, the emotional aspect of this for the Aries Collective Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Suns, and their cross watchers watching this video, receiving this reading? For the water to, to give them the energy in motion. Uh, that we experience as emotion, particularly with that moonstone moonstone card, to manifest their heart's desire for this timeless uh, spell kit. Read, do something for someone else. So there is action uh, involved here, but knowing what to do with the mind alone. The mind's job is pretty much to compare and contrast, so it's always going to do pros and cons, but the divine exists above that uh, illusion of the separation of intuition and intellect, right? It's just guidance. So, give your attention to someone else, and there is great power. What we give our attention to expands to an extent. I mean, I think people get out of hand with that thing, so they just start avoiding things, and that's not really the tea either, and that's certainly not a way of empowering yourself. So, look, it tends, an intensification of emotions, right? I know for myself, because I'm Pisces Moon, <laughs> right? Or natal ones, born on a full moon, Virgo sun, Pisces moon. So, you know, I know how that intensity is. And yes, absolutely, there are times where the guidance is clear. Oh, pull back, turn off your device, pray, cry, scream, let it out. That l allow these emotions to move through you because we are clearing it for the collective, right? There's only one energy field, folks. It's called the unified field. It's a unified right? So sometimes this can come as an empathic surge. It's what I call them. It's like an empathic flood watch, right? Um, but as we bring love to that, whatever arises, love that. Matt Kahn, his first book, absolute genius book. If you read any of his books, start there. It's the first one, but the rest of them are genius too. So maybe this is in prayer. Maybe this is calling on guidance for other people. And look, I am a professional witch. I get phone calls out of the blue from friends and clients and family sometimes in life-threatening situations. And so I have to say, okay, I know up here what I would do if I were them, but let me draw down, right? Let me ask the divine and take that guidance and then maybe do this for prayer. But this is about your empowerment. And with a Valkyrie, we're looking at warrior energy. Makes sense for Aries. Ruled by Mars, the warrior planet. 
So let's let let's get this last card on the table, the card of spirit to unify. Like I said, get a piece of moonstone. You won't break the bank for moonstone. Cast the spell for divine guidance. Call in the archangel with the intention emotionally, like, no, I'm going to do something for someone else. I'm going to give my attention uh, outward here. This is the mantra that brings it all together. And then you just say the mantra with the moonstone. This is what I do. Well, with jewelry. Please take a nice deep breath. If you're not going to do it with jewelry, why do it? <laughs> Still point. Ascended Master Override. A place for everything, everything in its place. Put all where it belongs in time and space. For the well-being of all and with harm to none. As we will it. So let it be done. Beloved Ascended Masters, what is the perfect and precise healing mantra to assist the Aries Collective Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs in their cross-watchers watching this video and drawn to this reading to help them manifest their heart's desire by water, by earth, by air, by fire, and with the help of this spirit mantra for this timeless uh, spell kit reading. Dispelling sadness, I will feel better once I get the rest I need. So look, you're not just doing that for you. Yes, selfish. Oh, selfish. You're taking time for your, yourself instead of doing something for someone else. But remember, as we heal even a little bit, everyone heals. And certainly saying, I don't know how to help. I know what I think, but I don't know what's right. I don't know what is the most what empowering thing. Now, I'm going to say solar plexus intuition will tell you when you are violating your honor code. It's written in there, and our boundaries are part of that, and that shifts and changes. But realize the more you love yourself authentically, no matter what you're feeling, you're not trying to avoid the emotions that are going to be intensified here, but to understand, you know what, as I do this, I'm going to be more comfortable in my own skin, more receptive to divine guidance. So it seems like this is higher selfish, taking care of you, you know, uh, allowing the intuition to flow, the emotions to move through you so that you can do something for someone else. Particularly, I find, I mean, my road has been rough in terms of, you know, taking the path less traveled. How many professional witches do you have in your family? Thankfully, my family is mostly on board, right? But I find everything that I've been through, give it some time. Someone will show up who can benefit from what I've learned. But if I don't take the healing journey myself, I ain't got nothing to give except complaints and bitterness, right? So our last bookie book read, Dispelling Sadness. I love this one. I will feel better once I get the rest I need. And it's so true, right? Just allowing the nervous system uh, to uh, unwind a little bit. So I will feel better once I get the rest I need. Maybe this is helping someone else get some rest. When sadness dissolves, oh yeah, crosswatcher read, it could be exactly that. When sadness dissolves, you are able to acknowledge upheavals of emotion, there you go, as profound healings taking place. In other words, you haven't done anything wrong. It's not a mistake, you're not being punished, it's a purification process. Uh, as a result, you are inspired to give your body the rest and rejuvenation it needs, rather than to push yourself into states of imbalance, which we all do when the fear takes over. What should I do? I do something. And you go all with the head and none of the heart. As you dissolve sadness, you become aware of the vital role downtime plays in helping you recharge your energy field. Because how often do you think about, oh, my energy field needs to recharge, right? I've got to plug it into source. This mantra is ideal for uh, dealing with depression, fighting against time, uh, got to get it done, got to get it done, uh, and learning how to relax. And honestly, so you have an emotion going on and the instinctual response that we learned from you know thousands of generations of, of humanity is uh, and to say, no, allow. I highly recommend the book, The Power of Now by Eckhart Tolle. By the way, it talks about the pain body in a way where you really get, oh, this isn't just mine, right? Even if it's something that feels so personal, then again, you can four agreements that, not take it personally either, and still feel it. So, if you are new, uh, we end all of my readings with what I affectionately call a blessimation. It's a combination of a blessing and summation, a word that was created over on Patreon. Excuse me. 
so let's see what hits the table. I never know what's going to come out of my mouth when I do this. So um, one last time, please take a nice deep breath, at least for this reading. Please continue to breathe. <sighs> Still point. Pantheonic override. <laughs> Puppies. As I call upon the collective pantheons of the divine on behalf of the Aries collective sun, moon, rising, Venus signs, and cross watchers watching this video and drawn to this reading, may they be blessed with all that they need to manifest their heart's desire by water, by earth, by air, and by fire, by dispelling sadness because they will feel better once they get the rest they need so that they can do this for themselves, but that will also be for someone else. Maybe many someone else is there giving their attention to someone else calling upon Archangel Galgaliel for the power, the personal power, to use these powers for good as they go through kind of a full moon moment there, an intensification of emotions, a deepening of intuition with a fertile period coming with that goddess internal, internal feminine energy that everybody's got so that they can manifest their heart's desire, which very well may be not just what is required uh, for the divine guidance. So, whispers from the beings who shine. May your messages be clear and kind for the well-being of all and with harm to none, as we will it. So let it be done. So let it be. And so it is a nice little soft finish to that one. I liked it. If you liked it, if you found it helpful, if it kind of gave you a clue, a tip, a hit, hit the like button, the thumbs up. It helps uh, other Aries and cross watchers find the reading to manifest their heart's desire. And the more of us that are doing that, the more access we get to the ability to do that. As I said, if you want more of me here on YouTube, subscribe, comment. I do like a comment section and I'm not stopping. I have way too much fun doing these uh, to, to stop anytime soon in the foreseeable future at least. But if you want the deeper dive, more magic, more miracles, more mysticism, more mal, come Patreon on Patreon. It's a field day over there. It is the wisest thing I've ever done in my career as a professional witch. Doing this for many, 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 many years, yeah? Helping people as it goes. Um, you can follow us for free. You can seven day free trial. You can shop in the store without being a subscriber. But remember, my subscribers, the majority of them get the daily check-ins, the extended readings, and the extensive discount, which we'll talk about uh, readings and private sessions in a bit. But I have to say, the store is really cool. But the free previews are great. That's my entire back catalog of stuff, the audios and videos. But with the new book coming, I'm creating all new stuff. It's going to take a while, but it will be on there. So absolutely, just check out the menu. It's so cool. I love Patreon. Come Patreon on Patreon. Because I'm the Archangel of Lions, Mark Angelo Lions. But you could still just call me Mal. It's easier to remember. Imagine people saying that to me. Every time they greeted me, there would be a bit much really long text messages. Um, but if you want one of those private sessions, I made a, a video called Booking Private Sessions with Mal at the 25th anniversary of Drawing the Circle, May 1st, 2023. I have since moved, so I have to make a new one. I haven't made it yet because I'm taking clients at the Magic Moon in Saratoga Springs. If you are local, just contact the Magic Moon, right? They set up everything. They tell me when you're coming, I show up, and I read you spiritual counseling as well. Uh, but I'm also getting ready to take clients. I have an office downstairs that's being set up specifically so clients can come in and I can read them but I want to get to know people first before they come into my house yeah it's wise right it's a witch thing for sure Z's um, but the majority of my work in, in private sessions is on a Zoom call. So I send uh, the client a Zoom link. They come into the conversation. We record the entire thing. The cards hit the table. The spiritual counseling happens. At the end of that, I send them a link so they can download the session to their devices. They tell me they downloaded it and I delete it from the cloud. So total confidentiality, which I mention as part of my ethics and my boundaries as a reader. I've been reading cards. I've been reading people since I'm 12 years old. I'm 55 at the time of this timeless recording. I know I don't look at things. Thanks. 
And uh, certainly it explains what I charge, why I charge, what I charge, right? But the most important thing I say in that video, and I'll die on this hill if I must, I will never turn anybody away because of lack of finances. Where there is a witch, there is a way. I am a witch, so there is a way. We always work it out. And I love doing it. It is my favorite thing to do. And general reads are fun. Like I said, that's why I'm not going to stop doing this here on YouTube because it's really fun to kind of do this, but there's nothing like a one-on-one -on -one private consultation or private session. I love it so much. It really is a way for me to do all of my healing arts all in one place. And um, thank you. Thank you so much for watching. I mean, divine guidance. Everybody needs that. So the more you are open and receptive, which is definitely that Moonstone vibe there, to embrace the power that is probably already within you, just needs a little oomph, a little boost to do something for someone else and get the rest that you need. I don't know. This seems like a very, very powerful, but more internal than external read, at least for now. So thank you so much for watching. May you manifest your heart's desire by water, by earth, by air, and by fire for the well-being of all of us harm to none as we will it. So let it be done. <laughs> so it is again. Why not? So thank you so much for watching. Wishing you all the very best and the very blessed with all of this. I believe in you. You got this. Hang in there. Heal. Hail. Farewell. And blessed, blessed be.